Hi everyone, it's Ask for Nova How, and this is episode 58. And we have this great question, okay? And the question that we have from a real entrepreneur is, how long do I need to give my marketing strategy to know if it's working or not? And how do I know it's time to keep going for a little longer or change direction? So we didn't qualify this question actually because it could be a marketing strategy that's not working or a business strategy that's not working or a marketing campaign that's not working. So I'm going to actually just focus on what was asked directly, which is a marketing strategy. Okay, so it's a really, really good question because I think people spend too long in strategies that don't work. And I think often what happens is they don't know what to do about it. So let's start first. And, and I think most of this has got to do with being really, really honest about what's happening and not honest from the point of view of, you know, you're wrong. It's honest of, you know, break it down. You've got to break it down because some parts may be working. It's not always the case that the strategy is fundamentally flawed. It can be, but often it's just there's a piece of the puzzle that's out of alignment with the thinking that can be perceived or felt by the marketplace. If, if everything that you do is not in sync, is not in alignment, then the, cost, the marketplace looks at that and just finds something disjointed and kind of tends to walk away so that it doesn't come to you in strength in numbers. You will get some sales. So what we need to look at is really look at the strategy honestly and in detail so that you can see the parts that are working. Rarely do you have to throw out the baby with the bathwater. There's always something in the mix, something that about what you do that can resonate. OK, so here's the first thing I would say to you. So if you suspect, right, that your marketing strategy is wrong or just, you know, the phone is never ringing. Right. So you're just really like, I'm really doing something wrong here. I have no idea where to start. OK, so the first thing I kind of ask is how long can you wait? How long can you afford to wait before you look at it? That's the first thing I would ask. And it is kind of, and the reason we kind of ask this is because if you pivot, you change direction or you're looking at stuff, there is a time period involved. You know, when you implement a new marketing strategy, it's not going to kick into place immediately. You know, it's do you, you know, it's kind of directly aligned with how long is your sales cycle, right? So if we work off the pre premise that minimum sales cycle before somebody comes into your ecosystem to when they purchase something is about 42 days. So it's about three months. So at the most, at the least, you've got to wait three months before you really know if it's going to convert. OK, so my question is, and then most B2B cycles could be six months. If it's a larger project, it could be a year before you close something. So you have to ask that question. What, how long can I afford to wait? OK, and it, and answering that question of how long can I afford to wait will mean that you will take steps to maybe plug the gap if you really believe that this is something that's going to be have a powerful impact on your business and have a fundamental shift in how you'd work then you need to know what you're going to do in the interim okay so it could be stuff um yeah and because this often is sometimes you're too early to market it's really what is the strategy what's the positioning where are you in the business so that you understand what is it am I looking at here how can I see what's working, what's not working? How long can I afford to wait? And what am I doing in the interim if I have to wait a long period of time? So that's the first thing. The second thing I would say to you is break down what working means. You know, when you say, how, do I, how long do I wait for my marketing strategy to work? It's like, how long, what does working mean for you? So does working mean for you that the phone is ringing off the hook? And yeah, ultimately that's working, you know what I mean? But that's not useful, okay? So that's useful for an end game. So ask that question, how long do I wait before the phone has to be ringing off the hook, okay? Will I wait the year? Will I wait 12 months? Will I wait six months? Will I wait three months? But it's much more important of how, what are the other measures of success of the strategy? So it is, are you actually getting more traffic to your website? You know, and what level of traffic is an indicator to you that this is working? How many people are downloading what you do? How many people are signing up for your webinars? How many people are engaging with your posts? What posts? What's resonating? 
So it's never that simple X amount of time. It's figuring out what defines success, what defines what's working. So it's maybe a type of customer that you're starting to attract because you have to change your customer. You may have decided that the customer you were previously targeting is not a fit for you because they're not profitable enough or they don't make you happy or they don't allow you to do your best work. And I mean, they, not that they don't allow you, but the scenario doesn't allow you. So again, you define what is working for you, okay? So here's some good questions. Like you could say, I want to get a certain level of sales by such and such a date. A certain type of customer I want to see start to appear in my ecosystem and download something or make a call to me. I want a fundamental shift in the key stages in my sales and marketing funnel. So I want to know that things are moving through the funnel or I want to see where the funnel is blocked, okay? And we've done a previous episode on what the funnel is and I'll, I'll note it in the comments, okay? A uh, certain level of downloads or engagement that converts. Engagement is good, we love engagement, but is it the engagement from the right customer? And you need to be looking at that as well. So that will tell you if the strategy is working or not. So yes, what does working mean for you? That's your first question, okay? Then I'd also say to you, when someone does a fundamental shift, and sometimes it can be when there's a rebrand and you're moving, kind of trying to move yourself up the food chain, food chain, you need to look at uh, asking that question of, was there a fundamental shift? Have I thrown the baby out with the bathwater? Have I given myself, you know, an easy down ramp or up ramp into this so that I keep consistent revenue coming in while I position myself into this new direction. It's often don't do a shift suddenly unless you've got the resources to back it. And you need to spend time re-educating your client base, your customer base, to make sure that it does resonate, that it does kind of knock into place or kick into place. Because if all of a sudden you come to the market with a new offering and a new brand and a new position, and you haven't warned people or brought people on the journey with you, then all of a sudden it's, got, it's a really cold, hard shock for them. So you have to allow for that. You have to educate them to that. You have to find this way of taking them on the journey, on a journey that they take, not your journey, it's their journey. How do you get them at each stage so you pull them in so they're excited to be to look at this new you that they may embrace, okay? So be realistic about it. Be realistic about what it takes because you're starting again. You may have had an offering before and all of a sudden it just completely dried up. You have to maybe start things like, ask some of your customers, what happened? Like, what are you seeing that I've missed? You know, is this not resonating with you? You know, the marketplace is a wonderful place because it will always give you answers if you look hard enough. And if you ask them, someone said this to me on one of my courses several, several years ago. It's really simple, Fanola, they said. Ask your customer what they want and then give it to them. So it is asking them, talking to them, figuring out does this gel? How does this language resonate with you? How does this all feel? And if this feels right to them, if this seems to be the answer to their problem because you've really listened and really understood their pain points, then you will draw them closer. And that's your test. Your test is always, is something resonating here? And the measure of that resonance is engagement, downloads, interaction, phone ringing, emails, discovery calls, people sharing what you do, liking what you do. That's a measure of what's working. So break it down for yourself because if, if you're not getting anything, then it's not resonating. But you have to cast the net wide enough to make sure and in the right spaces to make sure you've really articulated your customer very well so that they can see this strategy this positioning that you have okay um you know there are clues everywhere allow yourself the time to have the clues it's not an on and off switch a marketing strategy is not an on and off switch it comes from research resonance spending time and really listening to the market in place of listening to your own ego. You have to give it a chance to catch up with you. 
And if you know that it's disruptive in the marketplace, that it's something new, then you need a parallel strategy that brings you, that maybe complements something else that's going on in the industry, but allows you the time to create and re-educate your audience so that it can work and that you can survive it, that you can survive it because you can afford to survive it, okay? So, and the other thing is, back to my break it down piece. If, if I come back to this original uh, chat we had at one point, which was about the sales and marketing funnel. So look at it <coughs> from this perspective. When you have a strategy, make sure you're in each stage of the funnel. And that funnel, which we've simplified for you, is be there. So that's be there where they are. Be where that target customer is. Be seen. Be seen where they are. Okay. Be considered. So give yourself a chance to be considered by having, having them try you out in some way, whether that's a download or a discovery call or some way of trying you out and figuring you out. Being chosen so that you have a product that resonates that resonates directly with the pain that they are in that you are trying to solve and make it easy for them to come on board with you. Make it make sense, make it simple. If it's too complicated to choose you, nobody will choose you. Make it simple to be chosen. And then lastly, to be championed. Being championed is where you've done the good work, the great work, and people love what you've done and they want to tell others about what you've done. And it turns that kind of, one dimensional, one directional funnel into something that turns and it's what we call a flywheel. So that's how you check your strategy is working. Is there anything happening in each of these stages? Are the right things happening in each of these stages? And give yourself the chance in that strategy to support each one of those stages so that you have that impact with that strategy. Be honest enough at each of these stages and be listening in at each of these stages so that you can really hear that customer telling you how they want you to be with them. They will tell you. You just have to listen and you have to provide opportunities for you to listen. So I hope that helped. Give me lots of questions about this or comments about this so that I can answer and help you. And that was Ask Anola How, episode 58. And today we discussed the question, how long do I give my marketing strategy to know if it's working or not? Have a great day. Take care.